Most important document for safety officer? Risk assessment form. What is risk assessment? Risk assessment is a term used to describe the overall process or method where you identify hazards and risk factors that have the potential to cause harm, hazard identification. Analyze and evaluate the risk associated with the hazard, risk analysis, and risk evaluation. Determine appropriate ways to eliminate the hazard, or control the risk when the hazard cannot be eliminated, risk control. Risk assessment is a thorough look at your workplace to identify those things, situations, processes, etc. that may cause harm, particularly to people. After identification is made, you analyze and evaluate how likely and severe the risk is. When this determination is made, you can next, decide what measures should be in place to effectively eliminate or control the harm from happening. The Health and Safety Executive's 5 Steps to Risk Assessment Step 1, Identify the Hazards Walk around your venue and look at what could reasonably be expected to cause harm. Ask your other people what they think. They may have noticed things that are not immediately obvious to you. Visit the HSE website. HSE publishes practical guidance on where hazards occur and how to control them. There is much information on the hazards that might affect your event. If you are a member of a trade association, contact them. Many produce very helpful guidance. Check manufacturers' instructions or data sheets for chemicals and equipment as they can be very helpful in spelling out the hazards and putting them in their true perspective. Step 2, decide who might be harmed and how. For each hazard you need to be clear about who might be harmed, it will help you identify the best way of managing the risk. That doesn't mean listing everyone by name, but rather identifying groups of people. Step 3. Evaluate the risks and decide on precautions. Having spotted the hazards, you then have to decide what to do about them. The law requires you to do everything reasonably practicable to protect people from harm. You can work this out for yourself, but the easiest way is to compare what you are doing with good practice. Step 4, record your findings and implement them. Putting the results of your risk assessment into practice will make a difference when looking after people and your fundraising event. Writing down the results of your risk assessment, and sharing them, encourages you to do this. When writing down your results, keep it simple, for example tripping over rubbish, bins. Provided, staff instructed, weekly housekeeping checks. Step 5. Review your risk assessment and update if necessary. Things are likely to change between first conducting your risk assessment and your fundraising event. It makes sense therefore, to review what you are doing on an ongoing basis. Look at your risk assessment and think about whether there have been any changes. Are there improvements you still need to make? Have other people spotted a problem? Have you learned anything from accidents or near misses? Make sure your risk assessment stays up to date.